Hey everyone, it is Jennifer Stroman and I love all things magical. Unicorns, rainbows, mermaids, glitter, you name it, I love it. And I am gonna talk to you today about hair. I actually went and got my hair done. So got my hair did today. And I am coming to you in the middle of the day because I got my hair done and I'm going to, I got a lot to do today, so I'm gonna come live early. But um, you know I've had the purple in my hair for a while and so I've changed it up just a tad. You can still see a little bit of purple hues, but it's got some like almost a, a silvery color. So what do y'all think? What do y'all think? If you're catching me on the replay, comment replay below. And if you are a first time viewer, let me know that you're a first time viewer so I can tell you hello. Hey Sarah, so just got my hair done. What do you think, what do you think? So I kind of went away from the purple and there's still some purple hues in there and went with like a silvery color for now. Um, of course, you know, my hair can change at any time, but I, I actually had a lot of people ask about how, hey Sherry, how I grow my hair so fast because it grows and grows and grows. I actually had it cut today and earlier Abby, one of my friends, she might come on here, um, it said, man, your hair grows so fast. And I thought, you know what? You're not that like, you're not the first person. So many people ask me like, how do you grow your hair so fast? So I'm going to tell you three things, three simple things that I do to grow my hair so stinking fast because it didn't grow like this before. And I could simply say, oh, well, I'm healthy now or whatever, but there are three things that I can definitely say are why my hair grows as fast as it does. So um, what do y'all think? So this is the new look, very pretty. Thank you, Sherry. So it's got kind of like a, a silvery, you can kind of see a little bit of purple in some of the hues through here. There's still a little like lavender color. I don't know if you can see it in the back. There's still some like lavender, a little bit pieces in there. It's kind of just got that tone to it, but I like the silvery gray. <laughs> hey, it'll cover the grays. It'll cover the grays. So <laughs> I'm going to hop right into it. How many of you wish that you could grow your hair quickly? If you wish that you could grow your hair quickly, comment grow below. Um, I, I mean, I think everybody that I know would love to grow their hair uh, quickly. It, maybe they don't. Maybe they don't want to have to go get their hair cut all the time. But I like to have healthy hair. I like to ha be able to have it growing to where I can pull it up easily and, and do what I want. Um, my stylist knows the, the length that I want. She's like, are you still growing it or what are we doing? I was like, I'm not really growing it anymore. But where I like my length may be different, right? So everybody has their like their their place that they want. For me... I like to be able to knot my hair. So if I can turn it around and I can spin it around and actually knot my hair like this by myself, then I'm good. So that's my length. So everybody has their like length. So if you wish that you could grow your hair faster, comment grow below. I'm gonna give you three simple ways that you can grow your hair faster and it's not selling a product to you. <laughs> How's that? It's not selling a product to you. What? I'm not here trying to pitch you a product. So. The first thing that you should do if you want to grow your hair faster, are you ready for this? Drink more water. I'm not even kidding. Skip the sugary treats, skip the Coke, skip the, the tea, skip all of that and drink more water. Comment water below if you're with me. Water, drink more water. You should be drinking half of your body weight in ounces of water every single day. That's bare minimum, that's basic. So if you're 100 pounds, you're drinking 50 ounces. If you're 200 pounds, you're drinking 100 ounces of water every single day. Even if you drink Cokes, even if you drink tea, even if you drink, you need to be drinking half of your body weight in ounces of water every day. Are you with me? Half your body weight in ounces of water every day. Most of us know this, but we don't do it. And that is exactly what I've done in the last year, 15 months is I drink so much water. Do you go to the restroom a lot? Yeah, when you first start drinking water all the time, you do go to the restroom more frequently, but then your body kind of adjusts to it. Guess what happens whenever you drink more water? Your hair grows faster, your nails grow faster, your skin starts to look great, you start like cutting off the years, 
and and everything helps like hydration is key it helps with your migraines if you have headaches if you have whatever like i suffered from massive migraines i don't have them very often anymore i suffered from a daily headache i don't have them i used to and that could all be signs of dehydration right but my skin is glowing i have people saying man you look so much younger now because i drink so much water so it goes so much further than your hair y'all with me on this drop me some glasses of water if you're following me <laughs> so skip that sugary treat skip the sodas you know when you're drinking uh day one without soda oh crystal <laughs> go for it girl like the first week or so is going to be so hard if you're a soda drinker on a regular basis because caffeine whoo you want that caffeine you get that caffeine headache but i'll tell you one thing a lot of people are like oh you know you have a caffeine headache i can't handle it and all this and you'll fight through you know what it's okay to take some advil and it's also if you drink more water the less your head will hurt so if you do start to get a headache come on for lack of caffeine or anything like that drink some water drink more water if you put in a flavor to your water make sure that it is sugar free or only so many calories make sure that it's a, a legit good <laughs> flavoring don't go for like the kool-aid okay so make sure that you are sticking with something that is just adding a little bit of flavor best way to get you some flavor in your water lemon lemon or lime okay that'll actually help you with weight loss and with in with your digestion it's it's really awesome so drink more water okay got some water glasses drop and drop me some water glasses number two the way that you can grow your hair faster quicker and make it just as healthy as can be is you're going to wash your hair less so comment below comment below wash your hair less wash less okay wash less comment wash less so if you wash your hair less frequently it will actually help it grow because it it'll hold those those oils those natural oils in in your hair and it's not washing away all of that so if you are for me i'll give you a story i wash my hair every day sometimes twice a day i live in south texas y'all if you can't figure that out, y'all, like <laughs> I live in South Texas. It is humid as all get out. Hey, Christy. Hey, Miranda. Hey. Um, if if I sweat all the time down here, like even in the winter, it's just so humid, right? It's just so, hey, Ashley, it's so humid. And so I would wash my hair so much or I would go work out and my hair is all sweaty and it's nasty. And so I go wash my hair. And so I would take two showers, three showers a day. Like, no, no kidding. Especially during the summer, it's like a two shower a day. So because you're, you're washing your hair so much, you're ripping those natural oils out and it is actually destroying your hair and it's drying it out. And so you're not going to have it growing as quickly. And people told me this for years and I knew it. It's logic, but it's South Texas, y'all. Like, <laughs> like I'm still gonna wash my hair. So what I did was I went on a, um, I went on a voyage, a fantastic voyage. Anyways, I went on a voyage to figure out what dry shampoo was the best dry shampoo that I could get that was going to work for me, that wasn't gonna leave my hair white, that wasn't gonna leave my hair some other color, that was going to actually work, that wasn't gonna like use a whole bottle up just in two days, what was gonna smell good, because I'm a big, how many of you like love the way something smells or can't use it because of the way it smells? Raise your hand. Are you one of those? I won't eat sauerkraut because it smells horrific. Okay, like I am one of those, like if it doesn't smell good, this girl ain't going near it. Okay, so so if it doesn't smell good, if it doesn't, if it's too aerosol -y, like it gets in the air and you're like, oh, and you can't breathe, all of those things. I looked into all of these things and got myself the perfect dry shampoo for me. And ever since using that, I can go several days without washing my hair. I have a friend who goes weeks, weeks without washing her hair. And of course, she's not in South Texas, y'all. She's up north where it's a little more dry. So <laughs> she could probably handle it. I can't handle that. I still have to go. I can go a few days. If I'm not exercising or it's not, I'm not too sweaty, then at that point I can go several days. But the more you let your hair be natural and let those oils sit in your scalp, the more your, your hair will grow. Is that helpful, guys? Let me know if this is helpful and I will drop you the last tip. 
So if you want to know what I use to dry shampoo, shampoo, feel free to reach out to me. I'll tell you, but, uh, it's not any, it's, it's definitely, um, I'm not trying to keep a secret or anything or sell you. So if you want to know what I use, I went through all of them. I went through and you name it. I have used it. My, my bathroom has like so many dry shampoos in there. My kids are now dry shampoo girls for years. They were the same as me. They'd go in there and take showers. And now they get up in the morning. And even this morning, my daughter, my, my youngest was like, Hey, can you dry shampoo my hair? Cause <laughs> we don't want it to, we don't want to wash it. Her hair is super healthy. She drinks a lot of water y'all and she uses dry shampoo. So do I. So the last thing, the last tip that I will give you about how do you grow your hair so fast? How do you grow it quickly? How do you get it to, to look healthy? How do you stay, you know, have that, that, and I have a bonus for you too. Keep it healthy and keep it growing. The third one is kind of a, a one and two, you, you take in more protein and more omega threes and like the, the fish oils, those fats. So with my diet, everyone wants to know, what did you do? What did you do to lose all this weight? What did you do? And what program were you on? Guys, it took me a year to lose 60 pounds. This is not uh, almost 70, you know, like it is not just, it's not a program. Let me just put it that way. It is not a program that I was on. You have to be committed and you have to have the right mindset. It doesn't matter what program you use. It doesn't matter what you do. You gotta have the right mindset. Another live, we won't go there. But through the weight loss and what I was doing to lose weight was I upped my protein really high. So I had a lot more protein, a whole lot less, more ca less carbs and less sugars. And so my water intake was through the roof right? We're going to drink more water. And then I, you know, not wash my hair as much. And now it's protein and omega three. So comment protein and omegas. Okay. Comment protein and omegas. So with this diet, I started taking in a lot more protein. I was doing some protein shakes. I was eating more protein in my dinners and I did like lean and green. So I was having like chicken and green beans or I'd have like steak and broccoli. Like I was taking in a lot more protein and the more protein you're taking in, the faster your hair will grow. Did you know that? It does. It grows more because you're adding proteins. So if you're taking in more protein, your hair is healthier and your hair will grow faster. And the same side of that, the same line as that is omega-3s, your fish oils. How many of you take a fish oil? If you take a fish oil, drop a fish below. Okay. If you won't take a fish oil because of the smell, drop me like the, the face with the mask. Like it can't stand the smell. I know the first time um, we talked about fish oil, I was talking with my mom about it and she's like, oh, I take this one. You can't taste it. You aren't going to burp up fish oil. My husband burps up fish oil all the time. He's like, you won't burp up fish oil, uh, but it doesn't smell good. What did I say earlier? If it smells like I ain't taking it, I ain't coming near me. If I, if I can smell it, it's not happening. So she shows me the bottle and it's, it had some pretty thing on it and I go to open it and I was like, oh no, like I won't even touch fish oil because of the smell. So the, the, if you're taking in more protein, that's going to keep your, that's going to get your hair to grow faster. It's also going to keep it healthier and omega three. So that kind of goes hand in hand. I found the best omega three. It's actually krill oil, which is supposed to be better than fish oil. Um, do your research, believe what you want. But, um, if you, if you want to know what it is I take, feel free to reach out to me. It's again, not some selling you or pitching you, but if you want to know what I'm taking, it does not smell. It actually smells like vanilla and it, I don't burp it up. So I, that's what I do. So I drink more water. I wash my hair less frequently and I, um, take in more protein and omega threes. Let me give you a bonus. You want a bonus? Hey, Abby, I, just, I mentioned you earlier. So here's a bonus. One other thing that you can do to get your hair to grow quicker and to get it to grow faster and for it to be healthier is to give yourself scalp massages. Let me tell you, when you do a scalp massage, this is a bonus for you guys. This is just a little added little, is when you are doing a scalp massage, not only does it help with circulation, but if you have tension and you're in there and you're like moving your, you like take a break and just massage your scalp, like just massage your scalp or get, get, get someone else to do it. Get your kids or someone and go in there and just massage your scalp. It will actually, it's going to stimulate growth. Okay. It's going to help with circulation. And guess what? It takes away the tension. It helps you relax. 
bonus boom give me a fist pump if you love that one like like i i do that if i'm if i'm getting tense through the day and i'll stop and i'm just like oh i just need a break i just need a break and you can even use like peppermint oil on the back of your neck to relieve some of the tension but doing that is actually it's going to stimulate the growth so you're growing your hair faster it's growing quicker and it it feels good. You're like you're relaxing, you're releasing the tension. So I hope that those four tips, technically four tips, gonna give you three and a bonus, are helpful. But it, feel free to reach out to me if you want to know what dry shampoo or omega three I take. Um, feel free to share this if you want to help someone else grow their hair quickly. But that's it. That's all you got to do. Drink more water. Take in some protein and omega threes. Wash your hair less. Use a good dry shampoo. And then of course, you know. Give yourself some scalp massages. I mean, why not? All right, guys. Love you. I will talk to you later. Bye.